Hey guys, it is UKSPy here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today I'm kind of going to be showing you what I've been doing with fashions, because I mentioned in my last video I was working on it, um, and I kind of explained why. Uh, so I've done quite a few things, enough where I can kind of make a video out of it and at least show you. And also, before I get started, I'm holding a contest to kind of celebrate the release of it. Um, so I'm going to leave a link to to that contest it's on reddit all you gotta do is comment your username um, and uh, then you have a chance to win 250,000 uh, currency economy whatever once factions is released and you'll get it on factions that'll be great to get a little head start for you um, and that'll be pretty fun so I'll leave the link to that uh, right at the top of the description you can check that out so yeah I'm gonna show you what's going on with factions it's going to let me... Okay, so yeah, i got to do it manually. Or I can actually just go like this. Bam. Okay. So, um, I haven't done anything for spawn yet. But what I have done is I've set up the shop. I'm probably going to add more items. Uh, but this shop is very, very extensive. Um, I've got plenty of room. Because the last time the shop was a little small and I actually didn't add certain items I wanted to just because it was too small. So this time uh, that is not the case. Not in the slightest. Um, I'm going to readjust my mic. There we go. Sorry for that being loud. Uh, not in the slightest. Uh, this is pretty huge. I only really have one full one filled. Um, and that's like a lot of the items that we had on the last server. Almost all of them. Um, and there's also very minimal spawners. I might add some in the future, but I don't want spawners to be as much of an importance. I want it to be more focused on mining because that's more like vanilla Minecraft and it's more time consuming and it makes you like not get bored as quickly because there's people who got lots of spawners. They just get bored. I don't really want that. Um, and then also this is kind of a work in progress. It might not even be added at release. It's just an idea I really like. Um, and I think it'd be really cool to do. You don't see it on faction server much. You mostly see it on prison servers, but it's uh, a shops. So basically you can create a little thing here. Like I'm selling dirt here for, uh, you can buy or you, you can buy, I'm buying and selling it, so you can buy dirt for a thousand for one stack, or you can sell me a stack of dirt for one dollar, so pretty bad deal there, but you know, uh, you can get a plot and do your own thing with that, um, so you can sell items that are not in the shop, or sell items for a better price than the shop, so people would want to actually buy from you as opposed to the shop, and then you would make the money. Like, for example, say diamonds sold for $2,000, uh, or bought you bought them for $2,000 and sold for $1,000, let's just say. Uh, so if you sold them for, or uh, bought them for 1500 you would get a discount, and then the people who actually wanted to sell them would also get 500 more than they usually would. So it's a good deal for both of you. So that's pretty cool. And of course, there's also factions um, on here as well, the actual plugin. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you, if I go back to the shop, this will be in the spawn once the spawn is done. I'm probably going to just use a temporary spawn to try and get this released quicker, but I haven't decided. So basically, this is something I've actually coded. Um, you jump into a portal like this. Uh, actually, all it is is just a diamond block. If you step on a diamond block in this world only, so not when you're actually in survival, but it launches you. Um, through like a warp gate into somewhere random within the world. So within, I think, well, within a thousand by a thousand blocks of spawn, just so everyone's kind of spread out and the initial area doesn't really get uh, destroyed too much. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you like that. And here I go. Bam. And if you're in survival, you wouldn't take damage. So that's nice. Uh, and it just it tells you where you got randomized to, and that just allows people to get spread out so they're not immediately fighting everyone, um, and they're not uh, 
you know, not getting one area just completely destroyed the second you spawn. There's actually going to be stuff around because it's a pretty big area, right? Uh, 2,000 by 2,000. So you won't have to worry about that. And it's very good. Very good indeed. Um, yeah, that is about going to do it. I know this is kind of a short video, but I wanted to show you that I am working on it. Uh, kind of keep you guys up to date because I feel really bad that we were factionless for uh, for the entire uh, summer almost. I know it's summer's almost over for me, um, which is kind of unfortunate, but oh well. There's still going to be a little bit of time to play during the school year. Um, it'll be nice to have it up and running by then at the very least. So I kind of want to keep you guys up to date since everyone's kind of been asking for the last few months when's Faction's going to be up. And I kept saying, oh, it's going to be up in a week, a couple days, because I didn't know, right? Uh, so now I'm actually working on it. I actually know it's going to be up soon. So, yeah. Again, check out the contest down in the description. Um, and I hope to see you on the IP for the server. will also be on if you don't know uh, that. Thanks for watching. UK Spy, out. Thank <laughs> you.